All right, today we're gonna use this air lift to refill this, this uh, cooling system. This air lift here consists of this gauge manifold set, suction hose, and then the Venturi hose. So the, the big portion is we need to find a way to attach this to our filler neck. So either the radiator or coolant bottle, whatever it might be on the particular car. Uh, common scenarios use that cone. Sometimes some of these adapters. On this particular one, we're gonna use just the fitting itself. So this is rubber here to make the seal. It drops in and when we turn this, it's going to increase that diameter to where we have a nice tight seal. So we're gonna put it in, turn that to where it's sealed in there, hopefully. Let me get it down all the way. There we go. And we're gonna take our Venturi assembly, connect it to the air hose. This guy's a quick connect here. Uh, it does have this discharge hose. This thing will make a little bit of mess. If it has an overflow bottle <clears throat> or you have a drain pan, it's a good idea to uh, direct that into the drain pan while this thing's sucking down the vacuum on the system. So got to have this ball valve closed for the delivery side right here. So that needs to be closed. And we're going to push, depress the button. And that's going to start the air to make a vacuum on the cooling system. We'll watch this gauge. So what we're shooting for is we're trying to get into the green. So 20, 25 inches of vacuum or so. So good amount of vacuum on there. I usually like to disconnect that, get it out of the way. So good leak check procedure is you can pull a vacuum on here and watch for decay. So if you have a leak, maybe a hose clamp that's not fastened all the way or something like that, watch that decay so you can let it sit five, 10 minutes, make sure that there's no leaks. You can see here, it is sucked down these radiator hoses, they're totally collapsed. So that thing's totally collapsed. It's got a suction on that radiator hose. So this whole cooling system's under a vacuum. So once our, our coolant, or I'm sorry, once our vacuum is stabilized, we know we don't have any leaks. We're gonna attach this suction hose to that ball valve nipple. This has a little screen, weighted screen on the bottom. That's gonna go in our coolant jug. So all we gotta do is put this in, make sure that's held underwater there, then open our valve and you'll see the coolant flow in under vacuum. So you wanna keep this submerged so it doesn't suck any air. So as that vacuum decays, it's drawing the coolant in. You can see our, our bottle's filling up. You can stop if you need to at any point, uh, just to make sure. So a, a bottle like this, a lot of times will not fill all the way. So be aware of that as you're filling. It has to have a little bit of air space. So our, our bottle's about empty. I think this one here, we're gonna let a little bit of air in. And that looks almost perfect. If you can tell, it's a little tough to see on this older bottle, but looks like we're right about the fill line on this one is that, that seam or that part right there, the, the uh, where the two halves are molded together. So it looks like we're right about there. So just like that, pretty mess free. We have our cooling system refill to disconnect. All you need to do is uh, undo this collar again. So we'll unscrew that. Clean this guy up, put everything up. Sometimes it's a good idea to rinse this out if necessary. And then once you start the engine up, 
you can double check that level. So it's an easy way to fill the cooling system and it really helps eliminate any air pockets or anything like that. So easy, easy peasy.